Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, today's video is just a collection of what I would call Lego Mindstorms EV3 hacks. Um, something, some things that I have just picked up, my students have picked up over the years. Um, some things you probably guys already know, some things maybe you didn't. Um, so it's just kind of my collection of things that I wanted to put together to just show you and hopefully maybe it's one of those, hey, that's cool, I never knew that, or for some of you, it's like, yeah, yeah, come on, what, give me something new. Um, but it's just something that hopefully is educational for some of you, uh, maybe just starting out, maybe again, like we said, something that you might not have never known. Um, so I'm just going to put these things together for you, and hopefully you find it really cool. So check these out. All right, guys, the first one would be a broken connector um, within the brick like this one, or maybe even a beam and we just can't get it out. I guess if there was a beam, you would just maybe stick a axle through it. But in this case here, um, we have this broken connector. Sometimes they're even broken farther down within this hole that you can't even, you know, maybe grab onto that. So all I do is I take a paper clip like this, <clears throat> and I will just reach down in here and kind of start to pull up, and then it comes out like that. So just as simple as a paper clip to get inside and then just start to twist and pull and pull that out. So there's one of them. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one's gonna be about uh, axles. Here I have some different size axles. And <clears throat> here's something that we can have a little fun with. All right, guys, what size is this axle? What about this one? What about this one? Yeah, I think we all know that one. But for some of you, you might be saying, oh yeah, is that a five, is that a seven, is this a six? And my students sometimes get confused. What is that number talking about? Is that inches, centimeters? And it's actually neither. Um, if you take one of these beams, usually I take a 15 because that's the you know, biggest one that comes in the EV3 kit. Um, what we do is, I think most of you, what was your guess? This is a three and it's the smallest uh, gray uh, axle in the kit. And the reason why it's a three is it takes up three holes. So here is the three holes right there in the beam, and that's how far it goes. So if you ever grab uh, an axle and don't know how, you know, what size you have, you can either go to the size map that's in the, the LEGO EV3 booklet, or you can just line it up. So what was your guess on this one here? And let's go ahead and count. And this one takes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine because it takes up nine holes. This should be a four because it takes up, sorry about my fingers, takes up the four holes. So if you didn't know that, very cool. Let's go to the next one. The next thing is going to be with these curved panels. Um, there's a right and there's a left. And sometimes my students get confused, like, whoa, which, which side do I have? If you actually see, they're actually numbered. Let me get the lighting real good here. So if they need to, they can just go, oh, there's a 17. And on this one here, there's an 18. Uh, where's my focus? There it is. So hopefully they would be able to just go, oh, okay, I got, you know, two of two different kind here. But if they need to, just have them look for the number and so they can see that they have two different types. Another thing that you guys probably already know, but maybe not, I don't know, is if you want to get your steel ball out of the caster, just grab a rod, any size, and then just stick it through the hole at the top and out comes the ball. But you guys already knew that, right? Another thing that's useful would be to use port view when um, checking out your cables might be a little difficult. So on this color sorter here, um, the touch sensor and color sensor are going into the ports, the numbered ports down here. But you can see it's kind of tough to see everything. But if we just go to port view, um, we can tell that, yeah, touch is in one and there's no error. And the color is in three and there's no error. So... You know, if we're checking to see exactly what port it's going into or if it's plugged in all the way, we can tell right here, instead of having to, 
you know, get down under here and have it be real complicated to see. We can just check port view and see if that everything's going well. All right, guys, so hopefully these, uh, it, you know, tips, hacks, if you even want to call them, were helpful. Yeah, some of them I'm sure, you know, you seasoned veterans already knew. But for those of you just starting out, I hope this was helpful for you guys. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.